Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Alex Molina93 here. Today is going to be my reaction to Angry Video Game Nerd Game Boy Accessories episode 147. And this was requested by Karen Kalechi. So a big shout out to you, my friend. So without further ado, so let's get started, shall we? All right, here we go. One, two, three. I forgot the spinner was the thing and he flipped the finger how pissed he was. <laughs> He's gonna take you back to the past. Rob the robot. To play the shitty games that suck ass, he'd rather have a Yeah, and he keeps going on with with his channel. That's crazy though. He's the angriest game nerd you've ever heard. He's the angry Nintendo nerd. He's the angry Atari <laughs> The Sonic 06 review he did. I plan to do a reaction of that someday too. Here's a story of a little thing that went a long way. It's the Nintendo Game Boy. Yeah. While not the first portable game console, it was the first to make such a big impact. It was hugely successful. There were some yeah, amazing exclusive games like Link's Awakening, which alone made it worth it. Yeah, good Lots game. Lots of the games were just poor versions of NES titles. True that. Shameful, watered down arcade. No, I would not play fighting games on Game Boys. They were. As long as you bunch to play Game fighting Boy games on it. Why not? Not the worth it. The reason to own Street Fighter 2 on Game Boy would be to play it on a trip or something. But what about when you're at home? You better own the console version too. Yeah, the home console really versions are better. Oh man. None of these inferiorities hampered the Game Boy's success, nor did the monochrome graphics. A lot of people say the Game Boy's in black and white. No, really, I do remember like being green. Ugly shades of green. The screen yeah. has no light, so if you try to play it in the dark, you'll see nothing. You yeah, you need to be in the area where the light is. The novelty of it being portable. You cannot play it in, in a dark area. Away once the next thing would come along. But no, that didn't happen. And the competition was fierce. I plan to the get the Game, game Gear someday. Links Not links. I don't care for Atari. And lighted screens, I'm no fans but that to the people who like Atari consoles. Asses. It came out in 89 and wasn't discontinued until 2003. During its lifespan, there was Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, and even GameCube hit the scene before this gray brick with puke. Yeah, the Game Boy had a long run. run. <laughs> also, as famously shown in Nintendo Power, a soldier in the Gulf War had a Game Boy that survived a bomb blast. That's Even crazy, though. though. Black, it still powered on. You can't stop the Game Boy. Yeah. <laughs> they were released in different colors, like black. I do red, remember the yellow. colors, they though. Even made one transparent. transparent one looks cool. Nintendo Power made stickers, which are still on my only working Game Boy. Then there was the carrying case, which looked like that is a, a huge carrying case for a Game Boy. The whole lineage was started, including and especially the Game Boy for a Color, handheld the Game device. Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP. I love Game Boy Advance, the DS and the 3DS, 3DS too, and the Game Boy Color it's too. Impressive how long the original Game Boy stuck around. And naturally, during that time, lots of add-ons were made for it, mostly by third parties. These ranged from practical to flat-out ridiculous. And that's what I want to focus on here. The point is, the Game Boy was a long-lived success, and here's the accessories that probably had nothing to do with it. The Super Game Boy was perhaps Yeah, Super Game Boy possible, was cool. Though it's technically I a have Super it. Nintendo add -on. It's cool to play Game Boy games on the Game Super Boy Nintendo on your TV, colorized with lots of color presets and the option to mix your own color combinations. Yeah, there cool features. Graphics and the ability to draw all over it. <laughs> the drawing you did. <laughs> but how can you resist? Certain games were specifically made for the Super Game Boy with their own Power color Rangers. design and borders. But onto the Game Boy. The first thing that comes to mind is the link cable. It's just a simple way to connect two Game Boys so two players could compete in Tetris. For yeah, example. back in the day, then, how you play with other adapter. people it sounds cool, with your Game Boys. You need four people, four copies of the same game, and the game had to be four player compatible. Yeah, that's, that's how technology situation. was back in the day. It would be easier to get the band Witchfinder General back together than getting four people to play this thing. 
Then there's the Game Genie, so you can enter cheat codes. The new Game Genie. Maybe, just maybe with this. The new Game Boy console, had a Game Genie. The possibility that it would be the only console to not have Game Genie, but nope. What next? Is there a Game Genie for a Tiger game? Yeah, that would look so ridiculous. In public, everybody will notice this big contraption mounted on the top. Just a big flag to say, hey everybody, I'm cheating. You're a cheater! <laughs> it's really cool that it has a spot that holds the code book. Now you that have is no cool, though. excuse to misplace it. A little with book. With all portable consoles, there is always that issue that when you're going on a trip, you always yeah. have to make sure to pack extra batteries. Thank God we have the AC adapters for handheld devices. Yippee double A, motherfucker. But you didn't need any of that, because the Game Boy had its own rechargeable battery pack. Sure, you had to buy it separately, but you had the option. But that is useful. Comes all the that weird looks useful, though. Stuff I'd rather like use that than charger. the batteries. Oh, come on. You can charge a Game Boy with sunlight? So I tried it. You're supposed to lay it out in the sun for up to yeah, eight better, hours for a full But charge. better avoid the rain. You slip your Game Boy in it. You plug the solar unit into the DC input on the side of the Game Boy, and it works. I have no idea how long it lasts, but it works. Yeah. Well, this is an eco-friendly solution right here. I'm impressed. So yeah, me too. To charging a Game Boy, there's many options. Is there anything else I don't know about? Is there a Game Boy Wind charger out there? <laughs> no matter how you charge the Game Boy, the screen still looks like shit, and you can't play it in the dark. Well, yeah, that's unfortunate. Light. So apparently it sticks to the top of the Game Boy. So you just clip it on. How's that good? It works. You turn it on, you dim the room lights, or even play in total darkness, and it does the job. Yeah. But it takes the same amount of batteries as the Game Boy. So in total, you'd need eight AA batteries. Ah, uh, no. Then there's the Light Boy. It's the same concept, except this one has a magnifying glass to make the screen appear larger. This one is hard to fit on. You really gotta shove it on there. Nah, I would this not use that. It only uses two batteries. But no. The light isn't broken. Probably broken. Then there's the light magic. There must be hundreds of these things. It's the same exact thing as the light boy, but it attaches to the Game Boy much easier. Other than that, nothing's different. The light works, so here it looks the same in action. It's a nice way to boost the visual appeal, but why not just make a new Game Boy model with a normal screen like everything else? Yeah. Every version of these magnification light things seem to try to top the other. This one, called the Handy Boy, was released by STD? Never STD? heard of that company. Who in their right mind would name their game company STD? I don't know, chill out. <laughs> oh, Calm down. Oh, shit. Wow, that just flew across the room. Okay, wow. Oh. Wow, that really sucks. That really sucks. I broke that. It was fresh yeah. out of the box, and it broke. Damn. Sure it was old, but it seemed like it was hardly used. So I had to rush order a second one on eBay. This uh, one I'm treating yeah. as delicately as possible. This one's actually in worse condition, but the amount of use it got probably made it less stiff. This whole thing is ridiculous. Game yeah. Gear never did anything like... Oh, never mind. The good thing about this contraption is that it requires no extra batteries, but there's a light on it, so how does it power on? Well, somehow, it taps into the Game Boy's own battery power. The back of the box shows it connecting to the DC port on the side of the Game Boy, but that's a DC input, right? Not an output. Is it both? I tried it, and as expected, Looks so it does weird this way. work. Not only that, but the moment I plug it in, it shuts the Game Boy down. So this can't be right. Who knows? Maybe somebody out there has tried it this way and it actually does work, but mine doesn't. However, Damn. there is another way to power this thing. Yeah, they gave you a second option, as if they knew it sucked. Well, I wish I didn't have to do this, but... What is that? Yeah, look at that. You're supposed to stick it in the battery slot and lay the batteries over it so the contact Come points on. and the batteries sandwich it in place. And guess what? That is a big waste. Like shit. The light comes on and off at random. I have to constantly jiggle it around to get the light back on, but it keeps going off again. No, I would not use that. Is all right, but as you can Heck see, no. my glass really needs cleaning. Then there's the controller add-on. 
What's the point of this? In case you didn't like the controller that was already there, it was fine enough. Why do you need this? Does no. it add anything to the game? Useless. Is it better? No, it's fucking horrible. Yeah. It's all stiff and awkward. Who'd want to play it like this? Not me. The speakers are meant to amplify the sound, in case you didn't think the Game Boy's speakers were loud enough. Because that's what you want if you're in public, right? Like if you're on a bus, <laughs> you want everybody to hear what you're playing. No. <laughs> but the speakers on this thing are actually less loud than the Game Boy speakers. Maybe they're full of dust. There was also the amplifier by Newbie, so the idea of making the Game Boy louder became its own line of experiments. But then came the ultimate project. If you want to get serious about your Game Boy, then let me introduce... Wow, that is huge! This big-ass motherfucker is like the mecha combiner robot of the Game Boy family. <laughs> it would be cool to see it fight a Game Gear My God. extra weeks. It takes that is a huge looking. The Game Boy gets oh my god! Into the booster's power no, no, no! The booster For, forget it! DC no! DC input the way it should, so at least they got the power situation worked out. It magnifies and lights the screen just like the others. It has a cover for the front with new controllers, but again, the Game Boy's controls were perfectly fine. I mean, this so joystick looks better than the other one, but still. Just get rid of it. Nah. As for the speaker volume. Uh, ah, yeah. Why would you ever want it that loud? You only play it like a foot away from your face. There's a cartridge compartment on the back just for convenience. It can hold That's cool. four games, three games, two. It holds only two games. Just two games? Overall, Come on. If you didn't like how lightweight and convenient the Game Boy was, and the portability is not something you find appealing, and you wanted something more bulky and awkward. Then this is for you. No. Then there's the Game Boy camera. Yeah, I do right. remember a that Game Boy camera for the Game Boy. And I think no I used to have that. Installation. You just pop it in like any game cartridge and snap a picture of yourself. There's like no way. There are selfies back in the day. <laughs> it works. <laughs> How shocked he this is, is selfies <laughs> and before pissed. selfies. You can save your pictures to albums, you can mess around with them, you can even play built-in games, like this Space Invaders clone. Yeah. yeah. It's the most basic game you could possibly play, but hey, why not? For some reason, it has a suicide button that blows yourself up. Then there's all kinds of weird random games. Ah, what the hell is that? The I don't know. The more you play around with this, the more strange things happen. But basically, it's a camera. That's a Game Boy cartridge. Oh, I wonder if it works on Super Game Boy. Well, let's see. It does. Okay. Holy shit. But the camera can't work, can it? Oh my. It actually works. But if you want to take a picture of yourself, you have yeah, to you have Super to turn Nintendo your Super around. Nintendo. Mm. Yeah, a very difficult way to do it. <laughs> could be done. But hey, look here. I can decorate my face. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> A Ma Mario. Now, this is and too much Also, there is the Game Boy printer. So I do remember that print too. The pictures. Yeah, that can happen. Wow! Lots of these Game Boy accessories are rare. Some of the ones that I couldn't get my hands on are the Game Boy FM radio, the Work Boy, where you can plug in a keyboard and turn the Game Boy into but a personal computer. Why? Just in case why do you, you need like that? Using a monitor. Then there was the Hudson Soft Kiss Link, which allowed you to connect the Game Boy to the internet and download exclusive gaming content from Hudson's website. There was the Barcode Boy, which was a barcode scanner with games Never included, heard of that. where you unlocked certain features by scanning barcodes found on cards and merchandise. There was the Game Boy Pocket Sonar, what? so if you bring a Game Boy on a fishing trip, <laughs> you can detect fish up to 65 feet underwater. What? The Game Boy Color had a mobile phone adapter a phone? <laughs> and a sewing machine. No. I repeat, a sewing machine that came with a game card where you choose a sewing pattern and then the machine sews the pattern. There were also 
Game Boy <laughs> shoes. Big platform shoes with no. spaces to fit I'm your Pikachu Game Boy one. color. Yeah, you look so fucking awesome. No, you would look ridiculous then, in public. To top it off, the grand finale. I'm not even emotionally ready to tell you about this. So just sit back. Here it is. The Petty Sedate. This thing I was never heard of that before. To help children relax when they're about to be put under for surgery or Is this or a thing? Procedure. Or Essentially, not? it's a pair of headphones that you plug into the Game Boy. You could probably plug it into any portable gaming console, but more importantly, it has a cup that goes over the child's mouth and releases the sleep gas or laughing gas or whatever it is they need. So it's the only gaming peripheral I know of that gasses you. Imagine being sedated while playing fucking Dr. Mario. What would no. that be like? <laughs> oh my god, I was gonna make up a Dr. Mario's a classic at the end. Like the Game Boy Dog Turd Club. Uh, but no. nothing I can make up can top this. And this thing was real. I mean it didn't get released, but it was invented and patented. The Game Boy must have been the most multi-purpose thing in existence. Astronauts actually took it into space. It could withstand bomb no. blasts. You could take photos, print, sew, find fish, get sedated. I want to be sedated with the Game Boy. I want to be sedated with the Game Boy. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. I want to be sedated with the Game Boy. <laughs> Oh my god. So there you go guys, that is my reaction to Anger Video Game Nerd Game Boy Accessories episode 147. That was a good episode. You see that this is one of the most recent episodes of Anger Video Game Nerd. I thought it was very good edited and very well made. Yeah, I mean a few accessories for a Game Boy are useful and the rest of them are just useless and not worth the money. I mean, why why they made accessories like that? I don't know. I mean, just to keep the Game Boy alive, I guess. But it is what it is. I really like this episode. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you want to check out Cinemassacre's Anger Video Game Nerd and the episode, I'll put the links in the description below and better subscribe to him. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos to come for you guys to enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and a like button below. And comment in the section below what do you guys think about Anger Video Game Nerd Game Boy Accessories. Do you like it or not? It is your choice. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Peace. Just like that.